Well, the club are working carefully to try and find a permanent replacement for Graham Potter. When they arrived, we thought that the new regime would be very different to the uh, old regime, the revolving door of managers under Roman Abramovich. But it seems uh, meet the new boss, same as the old boss, doesn't it? Because two managerial casualties in just seven months uh, underneath uh, the new regime. They did promise that they were going to take their time and, and build a club, uh, build a way of doing things, have a manager for the long term. And it seems that they still want to be careful making the next appointment so they don't, if you like, make the same mistake again and go against what are, the, what are their uh, said principles. So my understanding is that the club have drawn up a, a short list of potential candidates, five, six or seven so far on that short list. There, there may be more on that short list, uh, which managers they, they, they want to speak to, by no means these managers have agreed to speak back to them, are, of course, Nablesman, we've heard about him, haven't we, uh, is Luis Enrique and is Pochettino. They're the perhaps more well-known um, glitter uh, star managers on the list. And the others uh, on the list, uh, I understand, is Oliver, Oliver Glasner, who's uh, sixth at the moment with Eintracht in the Bundesliga. Uh, Ruben Amarim doing a great job with uh, sporting CP, but he's still only 38 years old, and one of the concerns about Nagelsmann is the fact that he's 35 years old and he may be too young, so that may be a concern. And Luciano Spalletti, who's pulling up trees uh, with Napoli, my understanding is there's no chance whatsoever that Spalletti will leave what's working so well at Napoli, a historic season there, easily top of the Italian league and, of course, going great guns in the Champions League as well. So three of those names are also in favour when it comes to the bookmakers are in the top six when it comes to betting on the new Chelsea manager. Nagelsmann, one of them. Luis Enrique, another. Pochettino, another. Bruno's all also in there because, of course, he's been given caretaker charge. If he does a good job, he'd be in the chance of at least getting uh, the full-time job uh, on a permanent short-term basis. Uh, but the other book is favourite, who's not been mentioned at all so far, surprisingly given uh, his um, star billing, is Jose Mourinho, still a, a popular favourite here at Stamford Bridge. All he did for the club, uh, three of the five Premier League titles won by Jose Mourinho, eight titles in his two spells here, still has a house, uh, his main house, uh, close to Stamford Bridge. My understanding is that Jose Mourinho, despite enjoying his time at Roma, would find it very hard indeed to turn down an approach from Chelsea. Doing OK at Roma with, with not great resources. Uh, they mirror uh, Manchester United's season, really, don't they, Roma? In that they're, they're fifth in the uh, league. They're in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Same number of points as well as United without having spent much money. So uh, an, a third coming for the special one. Don't rule it out, although we don't know at this stage whether he's one of the managers on Chelsea's shortlist.